Right. Thank you, Eltris. That was... Not a lot to go on. Waylon and the Imperial Woman. I have her key. I need her room. And Waylon... Lived down in the Warrens. I can try to figure out what that is in the morning. I think. And I still want to know where the Silverbloods are. See if I can find out why they want to own Carthwaston. Like anyone can own the Rage. She has no owner. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Of course. Rooms. Rooms. Yes, I, uh, I need a room. This is the Silverblood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Right. I am looking for a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Uh. All right. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Oh, I'm not looking for... Well. Alright. Let me know if there's anything else you need. It looks comfortable. Actually... If I can't get you something, I'm sure my wife will bellow at me until I can. Sounds lovely. I'm actually looking for a specific room. Did a woman named Margaret stay here? Ah, yes. Rented the nicest room we had for a whole month. Best we all forget about her. Bad luck to talk about the dead in Markarth. Right. Ah, uh, so that's it? Suppose that's it, then. Guards are free to search your room. Uh, just keep that in mind. Oh. Clapper, you idiot! So have they already searched her? Right. What? Please. Why did I do this time? I was just standing here. You were just standing there when you were supposed to be serving drinks to our customers. Shouldn't you be helping me then, wife of mine? Sharing my problems? Being my better half? Right. I am your better half. And your better half is telling you to... How much coin do I have? Being an Enough. idiot and serve the customers their drinks. Uh, hello? I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. Make me an offer, and I just might fight at your side. Right. Uh... I might... I might be able to make you an offer, but I need some information first. Did a woman named Margaret stay here? I remember her, her stance, the way she walked, a trained warrior, no doubt. She had a room here. I talked to the innkeeper about it. A warrior? Well, if that's the only information that you have, then... Sorry to say, can't consider yourself hired. Watch your back, friend. Better yet, pay me to do it for you. You know what? I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. Make me an offer, and I just might fight at your side. Right. I may need somebody to watch my back. That's a fair price. My blade is yours. Thank you. Right, I need you to do something. Alright, what is it? I need you to stand... Right about there. Right about there. Okay, got it. And, they'll scurry and just away stay. Fear in Anything no else? Time. Nope, not quite yet. You're an idiot, Clapper. Why did I ever marry you? Not a day goes by I don't ask that question myself, my dear. Actually, I don't know whose room this is. Oh. That has a lot of numbers in it. I don't think this is Margaret's room. Kind of feel like an idiot, no. 
Hey. Uh. You just, just uh, keep standing there. Keep an eye out. Unlike my husband, Clever, I watch after our guests. What was that you said, venomous wife of mine? This is locked. Nothing, you pig headed oaf. And the key fits. What have we got in journal? What have we got here? Ah, uh, I should not read this in here, lest somebody comes by and sees me. That would not be good. Not at all. Uh, I can, however, just slide in here for the night. Whether or not that man stays standing where I told him to, I guess we'll find out. Do I want to keep him around? They don't particularly seem nice to reach him in here, so... I'm not sure if I actually trust him. Meeting at the Treasury House. Took them long enough, these people act like they own everything. Thornar Silverblood is the younger brother. But he's obviously the one in charge. Makes all the deals, bullies local landowners. Even employs that wispy girl at the door. Let's see. General Chulius. Sidna Mine. Well, she's looking for the deed to Sidna Mine. Stormcloak sympathizers. So the silver. Oh. Own the prison to one of the most notorious criminals of their age. Who's in the mine? Right, okay, I need to think about this. So the Silverbloods are sympathizing with the Stormcloaks. So they're allied with Ulfric. And they own the mine, and they want to own the Reach. So basically, they want to finish what Ulfric started. Great. I'm going to the treasury house in the morning, I think. Get too far ahead. Oh dear. Uh, I'm talking aloud, aloud to myself a bit more than I should. Frobby, my dear loving wife, could you please clean out our guest rooms? Clean Divine the room smile yourself, on you, Clever. friend. It's not huh. to do anything important. Right, follow me. I'm yeah. ready. Just check in the guests and manage the coin, and keep a roof over your head. No, nothing important. Yes, I'm asking you to come into my room. I'm not. Shy, come on. Gods. Maybe I shouldn't have hired him, he seems a bit... Daft around the edges. Are you coming or not? Just keeping watch, I suppose. Right. Yes? Right. Get in here. All right. What is it? What do you need? We need to talk. Okay, got it. Anything else? Right. So I'm not sure if I trust you, actually. Uh, I'll come yes. back. Potentially. And hire you again when I need you. For now, just go. Linger around, I suppose. Farewell, then. If you need my services again, just come and look for me in the usual place. I will. He got his gold. Hopefully he leaves me alone. This is going to be comfortable, isn't it? 
You want a drink? Uh... Well, I wanted to sleep. But thanks, no thanks. I should remind Clepper to clean this place up. Playing tonight, Ogman? Everyone here is anxious well. to hear the old ballads performed by the true Scald of the Reach. Son, I know thousands of the old ballads. If I played all of them, everyone Hello. in this inn would be as grey as I am before I finished. Uh, right. Maybe just one of the popular songs, like The Slaying of the Former Princes? That's a sensible lad. Now fetch me a drink. I like him. I like him a lot, I think. <clears throat> Scouts are important. So that was not nearly enough sleep. You. I've seen you snooping around, asking questions. Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. Right. I'm not trying to cause trouble. You're finding it. That's bad enough. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. You little twig. What am I supposed to do? I'll snap you, you never leave the house? You Just want that try ending? it. Maybe you're closing the stall. Inside, That's fine. Mine. Mine. We'll get rid you want to give up now? Out of fear? Is that what we're going to teach our daughter? Right. Excuse me. Ah. Do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? No, I don't know anything. Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. Right. I don't know anything. Thank you for your time. I'm not trying to cause trouble, I'm trying to end it. Now where might I find the treasury house? I don't like the way he's looking at me. I also don't know where the worms are. You know, somewhere that... What even is a treasury house? It sounds important, and important things tend to be put higher, right? I think. Probably. What is... Bars? Hello? Why are you bothering me, outsider? Uh, just... I'm new to Markarth, and I'm wanting to know more about it. Then you're talking to the wrong man. You want that elf in the keep, Calcimo. The only thing I'll tell you about Markarth is to stay out of our business. We have enough around here without some outsider causing trouble. Right. Thank you, I think. I should get back to work. Money doesn't count itself. This must be the right place. Or not. I don't even know what a treasure house is supposed to be. Out of my way, outsider. Nothing there. Sounds lovely. The finest jewelry in all of Markarth. That's locked. This looks important. This looks like something that might contain some treasure. Hopefully. Uh... Riata, did you clean the tables today? They're filthy. I'm sorry, Betrid. I'll clean them right away. No, don't bother. You're useless, as always. I'll get Eldine to do it. I'm sorry, Betrid. I thought I had cleaned the tables properly. Oh, stop apologizing. It makes you look like an idiot. Learn to talk back a bit, girl. Why, when I was in the temple... The temple, Betrid? You were one of Dibella's faithful? I misspoke. Never mind what I said. Now get back to work. 
Boy, she's a piece of work, isn't she? Uh, miss. The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. Uh, actually I do. I want to know about the Silverbloods. It's an old family. Very well respected throughout the Reach. The Silverbloods run nearly all the lands in this hold, as well as the local inn. And of course they own Sidna Mine, the finest prison and source of silver in Skyrim. That's what I've heard. From... people around here. What kind of patrons do you have? For one, the landowners of the Reach. It goes without saying that they rely heavily on us for our silver and support. All the miners, farmers, and laborers in the Reach get their daily wages through us. Nepos the Nose handles that part of our business. He has a way with the workers. Nepos the Nose. Right, I'll remember that name. I actually came to see Thornar, if that's all right. I'm afraid he's asked not to be disturbed. He has important business. Well, business means money, right? Riches are a gate opener around here. Head right in. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, good luck with the tables. I have records I need to tend to. Right. Nepos the Nose works with the Silverbloods. That means he needs to die. I'm going to just... set myself up real fast, because if I don't, I have a sneaking suspicion. This is not going to go well. Not well at all. Let's put some blood tar on this. Quickly. Riata, did you clean the tables today? They're filthy. She goes again. I'm sorry, Betrid. I'll clean them right away. No, don't bother. You're useless as always. How can I'll you stand away. having her around? I'm sorry. What are you Betrid. doing here? I, I told them no visitors. I'm here to talk about Margaret. Like Imperial agent. That's right. I knew. Why, How I many dogs is the Empire going to send after me? This is my business. My city. You Empire lovers should learn to stay out of it. Now get out! For the first what? By the gods, Betrid! What's going on? Never should have come here. Over here. I'm going to let him handle that. I don't really want to play my hand. I cannot... Unless she attacks me. Uh, they might attack me. He's dead. Right. Guess it's off again. Right. I think I know who the victim's supposed to be. Not going to kill her. She's done nothing wrong. Is it over? Oh god, my tattoos. Ha, huh, right. Gods, that's terrible. What's going on? My wife. They killed her. Damn Madanok. Damn his forsworn backside. 
Madanok. Will you talk now? Fine. You want to know what the Force One really are? They're my puppets. I have their king rotting in Sidna Mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. I'm sorry. What kind of deal are you talking about? When their uprising was crushed, I had Madanak brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna Mine. Now he's out of control. Right. And what is Sidna Mine? My prison. The source of half the silver in Skyrim. The most secure prison in Demriel. No one escapes. I thought keeping Madanak down there would keep him under control. Right. Here's your mistake. The blood of Markarth is silver. Your mistake... ...is thinking that you can control any part of the rich. <laughs> Probably have to kill her now, don't I? This isn't going to look suspicious at all. Sorry. Sorry about that. But... Ooh, that's nice. I will take your ring, madam. That's... Not right. He has some kind of enchantment, and I'm going to get out of here. Just as soon as I clean out their coffers, I think. Nah, I don't have time to do that. He has some sort of illusion that I've just killed. And he seems to be back. Kind of... What kind of oddity is that, I wonder? Right. Look at what's coming to him. Eventually. What have I picked up? Besides the keys to the house, which, obviously, I have another one that might be useful. Right. So I have a name, Nepos the Nose. I still need to figure out about... Ooh, I don't want to be seen coming out of there. That was a bad move. We have Madanak. In. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. You have a letter? What? That was fast. What?
I feel like there are eyes everywhere in the city. Certainly wish I had a pair of eyes of my own that I could just send to scout around. A cauldron sign with a moon symbol. I wonder what's in here. I think this is an alchemist's shop, right? very nice. Oh! It's good to see... The Hag's Cure is here for all your discreet needs. The Hag's Cure. That's a unique name. Hm. Comes with living to a ripe old age. People start thinking there's something magical about you. Then, the insults. Still, a little knowledge of plants and potions can get you by. Not that anyone likes to admit buying things from you. See? I even have a little potion for the steward. Mind handing it over to him? Just say it should solve that problem he has. Always glad to do a favor for... someone like us. Thank you. Right. Uh, good to know that you're here. Might come back and buy something. Actually, what have you got for sale? So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? I am. Let's see. Is there anything I actually need? Oh, garlic is hard to come by. Get a couple of those. And some of those. Uh... Nerve root is always good. That could come in handy. Oh, but I need to save some of my money, I think. Uh... Right, I think that's about it for now. I'm sort of in the midst of things. Now, you let me know if you need a cure, or anything else. I will. Thank you. Uh... You should be more careful with the men you pick, dear. He said he loved me. Oh dear. Real men prove their love. Words are as empty as the air they run through. She is one of ours. She certainly is. Right. That wasn't suspicious at all, me walking away from a guard. Let me do this first while I'm so I'm not just lugging it around. That way I have some excuse for being in the city, I suppose. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my I wonder if that's... That's enough, Thong. One of the Silver Bloods. Those are some scary looking elves. Right. You! Who are you to approach the Jarl of Markarth? Ah, uh, I'm actually approaching the steward of Markarth, but uh, I'm 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 just sort of here, looking around, being a traveler. Very well, you may approach the mournful throne, but watch your words. Right. Uh, thank you. Keep your eyes open for force when you're on the roads. I always do. Forgive me for worrying about the future of Markarth. The lifeblood of a city is gold, Igmund, and it doesn't stop bleeding because there's a war on. Very well. I'll send a request for additional legionnaires to protect trade to the other Imperial hordes. Hopefully, 
Solitude can spare more men. Sorry to interrupt, but... I'm Igman's uncle, as well as his steward. Interesting. They actually have a delivery from Bothella. Oh, yes. Um, uh, thank you. Here you go. Some gold for your assistance. And your discretion. <laughs> of course. Uh, good to, uh, glad to help. I have letters to read. Right. Rayrek, how is the Reach Ferry against this Force One menace? Things are bad, Eatman. Our forces are barely able to keep the Force One in check. Merchants are reporting the loss of more of their shipments. This is why I say we take the fight to them. The what a strange place this is. And who are you? You there. You another Imperial puppet? Answer me. Well, I'm no friend of the Imperials. Finally, someone with decent sense. The Empire is destroying everything Skyrim stands for. Honor, pride, mighty Talos. Jarl Igmund can't ignore us for much longer. Not that the Silverblood family has a say. Right. And why should the Jarl listen to you? We own Sidna Mine, best prison in Skyrim, and source of half the wealth in this city. We keep the Reach safe. We flood Markarth with wealth. But does the Jarl listen to us when we want to say? No. He's busy forgetting that Ulfric Stormcloak saved this city from the Forsworn. Ulfric's a hero, not a damn criminal. Right. Ulfric saved Markarth, you say? How? He used the Thum, shouted those Forsworn from the walls. Then he led a band of Nord warriors in to take the city, just like Talos himself at the Battle of Old Hraldon. Reclaiming the reach from those heathen natives. Right, heathen natives. You know, they always say, know your enemy, right? Stay out of trouble in my city. I will. It won't be your city for much longer, I think. So... The Silverbloods are the ones who are responsible for... the patrols and... everything coming down on us, trying to keep us... contained, I suppose. All the more reason to gut them. What am I doing? I need to find the warrants. Which might be that. One of these places is the warrants and one of them is Sidna Mine, and I don't know which. Uh, excuse me. You're not one of my workers. What are you doing here? I'm... I'm looking into the market attack. Oh yes, Waylon. Bastard could have at least gone crazy after we made our silver quota. Right. Uh, I actually had questions about Waylon. Whatever you want to know, I don't care. I run a smelter. That's it. I like you. Oh, you don't... Ah. Do you care about money? Maybe this will cover the cost of the... Silver quota? For that amount, I can. Fine. I did notice something odd the last time we handed out the pay. A little extra slip of paper for Waylon. Took it right to his room after he got it. Do you have the key to his room? You want Garvey. He handles the keys for the Warrens. About the only thing that disease-riddled native is good for. Disease-riddled native. Right, thank you. Uh, I take it the Warrens are 
that one. Fight well. You too. Not like you do much fighting running a smelter, but good fighting with the silver, I suppose. Careful. You spilled one drop of silver. I'm taking it out of your hide. Oops. <laughs> This is a place. At least you've got a fire in here. Hi. Hello. Are you Garvey? I just heard the orc outside calling you a diseased native. The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? Did you know Waylon? Oh yes. I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. Right. Uh... I need the key to his room. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. I know, I know. But here, I'll pay you. Welcome to the Warrens. Right. I'm glad I held on to my money. What are the Warrens besides a bit run down around the edges? It's where you go when you can't afford a room anywhere else. About the time they opened the mines, someone got the idea to throw beds in here. Laborers, the sick, the lame, we're all here. The downtrodden? The natives? Or is it only the poor and the sick? That's right. Welcome to Markarth, Traveler. Thank the divines you can choose to live somewhere else. Indeed. Well, I can't. This is my home. Thank you for cooperating. Hopefully things start looking up around here. Alright then. Whose key did I have? Eltris. Interesting. Was he down here? How do you tell whose room is whose? This could be a room, I suppose. Uh... You look a bit... down on your luck. You don't want to be here. No one wants to. Well, no, but... Need something? Here. I have something for you. I hope it'll help. How can I argue with that? I think I have. There. I'm not sure if it'll work. If it doesn't, then... I'll come back later with something that might. Let's take it easy, alright? Will any of these fit? That must be one of them. There's a key. Don't need a copy. What have you got here, Waylon? You've been chosen to strike fear into the heart of the Nords. N. So either N is on our side, or... I'm not sure. N might be on our side. Uh, right. Don't really need to... sneak much. Whose room is this? That must be Eltris. What's he doing down here? Didn't he say he had a wife and kids? <coughs> Interesting. I wonder who he works for.
You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Excuse me? Who sent you? Someone who doesn't like you asking questions. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Ah. Uh, you're punching a little girl. This is not a good look for you. Right, I'm trying not to catch the guard in the crossfire. Unfortunately for you... Are you cheering for me? Oak spirit. <laughs> Who taught you to fight? Keep those hands up. <laughs> right. Uh, you mangy piece of pit bait. Mangy? Drive that snow back to the ground. Come on. Look, if you don't want more where that came from, you'd best tell me who sent you. I was sent by Nepos the Nose. The old man hands out the orders. He told me to make sure you didn't get in the way. That's all I know, I swear. What? I thought he was. Right. Nothing in this city makes any sense. Wait. I know you. Yes, you do. Run away. That was... Right. I need to think about this. Nepos the Nose. I've got conflicting information. That's what I've got. Because... No, maybe I don't. Wait. No, because he sent Whale in. But he was working for the Silver... Bloods. Let's keep moving so that we don't look as suspicious. Ugh. Stuffy. Stuffy nose? No. Bloody nose. That's what that is. All over my everything. Well, I guess growing up in the rich tales teaches you how to throw a punch or something. Ah, oh, that was great. Okay, Nepos the nose. It's going to be one of these ones up here. Oh, that might have been the place that I walked into and did not look like a treasury house. That's probably correct. I don't want to know what's going on there. Where was that? Not there. That's not even open. This one. Okay. How am I doing on... That's still got some poison on it. This does not. <laughs> and it needs to. If I'm going to be going in here, I need to figure out what's... what's going on. Let's do that. I'm going to need to make a significant amount of poison when I get back. <sighs> okay. This is good work, though. This is good work because if I can take out the silver bloods, cripple their connections, that'll be putting a big dent in whatever Ulfric controls. So the question is... Is Nepos working for us? Or for the Silverblitz?
And will he attack me on sight? Let's find out. Oh boy. Right. Excuse me. What's your business here? I'm here to see Nepos. We haven't been expecting you and the old man needs his rest. Come back some other time. Wait. It's okay, my dear. Send her in. <laughs> yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. Right. It's quite warm in here. It's practically a sauna. Right, you must be Nepos. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? You certainly do have a nose. So... I want to know why you sent that thug after me. Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. Right. But why? Because my king told me to. Madanok. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. Right. Right. So Madanak. What I know of him is that he lives because of the Silverbloods, but... We both know how, how, how they've worked out. Who's Madanak? I've heard of him, but I didn't think he was still alive. He is the King in Rags. A man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city, directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine, a Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. Right. Can you tell me more about the uprising? I wasn't involved in all that. Markarth and the Reach are our lands. That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. Right. Thank you for telling me. Never should have What? You don't. Wait, on, wait, wait, on. wait, wait. What's going on? I'm one of yours. This isn't over. Actually, it is, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Should I have explained to him that I wasn't about to go tell the guards? D did he assume that I was about to go tell the guards? That would make sense. Well... I'm going to take those. I'll order you by helping you kill your enemies in your afterlife.
That's about as much as I can do right now. I'm sorry about that. What's this? Eh. Third era timeline. I don't know where any of this is. That's fine. That's too much silver for me to carry. Raw beef. Don't really need all of this. Have they just been hunting? I suppose they have to fit in. No sense in abiding by the rabbit taboo. If you're going to try to fit in. Guilt ridden. Well, he's not guilt ridden anymore. Unfortunately, he still has some killing to do. Just not right now. That was unfortunate. Now I have to go talk to Eltris again, I think. And after that... I guess we'll see what happens. I'd like to find a way into Sedna Mine so that I could talk to... Madenach myself. Thank you, Granny Melka, for saving my hide with poisons once again. Wait, I know you. No, you don't. I mean, you do, but. Right. Right. Dear. That's Eltris's body. Sacrifice to Talos, it looks like. Warrior god, patron of the storm cloaks. First subjugator of the reach. Right. Well, I was looking for a way to sit in mine. Suppose this is my chance. Just don't take the human flesh. We warned you, but you just had to go and cause trouble. Now you have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. What do you mean, pin the recent murders on me? You're corrupt. Thornar is paying you. And I've taken matters into my own hands. What are you going to do about it? We have a nice arrangement in this city. And we're not letting you get in the way. You have a problem with that? Take it up with Madenak. I'm sure the King in Rags and his Force One would love to meet you. Now you're coming with us. It's a life sentence in Sidna Mine for you. Fine. I'll come quietly. You'll never see the sun again. You hear me? No one escapes in the mine. No one. 